has India uh, overall, again with the prism of history and the benefit of all these years, uh, has India benefited from immigration? Yes, I mean, India is a huge, as, I mean, I don't need to tell anyone in this room this, India is this huge mixed pot of a million migrations. I've just been with Tony Joseph in, um, uh, in Doha last weekend, and he had this extraordinary session from his book, Early Indians, talking about the different waves of migration in, from the original out of Africa uh, migration in 70,000 BC, then the early farmers at 10,000 BC coming in from uh, what's really northern Iran. Um, you are all immigrants. Man originated in Africa. Uh, you know. <laughs> um, and every one of you in this room has the genes of those early out of African migration, then the early farmers. Some of you who are upper caste will then have the extra layer coming in from, uh, uh, from the Caucasus. Uh, and uh, any of you who are from the Northeast will have the other migration coming in from that. Um, and so, yes, I mean, India is the story of migration. Uh, and the story of what happened from the 12th century onwards is obviously a, a complicated story. The, with the first Turkic invasions, you do get massive destruction. In a sense, as, as I said earlier, the, the failure of those Nehruvian textbooks really to acknowledge the destruction of Nalanda, the burning of the libraries, and all that was a mistake, I think, because you know, it happened. And it has to be acknowledged. It is one of these tragic moments in history, like the burning of the Library of Alexandria. But that, out of that came a new civilization, the Indo-Persian civilization, with, where, where upon India dominated the Persian literary word. There were more um, dictionaries of Persian written in India uh, than there were in Persia. Uh, the, by the 18th century, there are seven times as many speakers of Persia in India than there are in Iran. Uh, and India is the center of a new civilization. And that, of course, comes to a close when, when you become part of a third trans-regional world, which is the anglicizing uh, world initiated by the company. Uh, but uh, it, I'm, I firmly believe that the richness of this country culturally comes from that multiple layering and the different ideas from the, the first immigrants uh, it, who, and incidentally, by the time when the first, when the first Homo sapiens come here, there's already an indigenous population of Neanderthals and, so and others which have to be removed first. There are many other homonyms here first. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a history of conflict, but it's a conflict. It's, 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 it's that the richness of Indian culture comes from that. Uh, 